Welcome to Charcard, my friends, and thank you so much for joining today. We're going to have a bit of an excitement unboxing here. I am so excited that this Pokemon Go Elite Trainer Box arrived nice and early. I can't believe this. This is like complete gold dust when this happens. This never happens to me, folks. So the Pokemon Go Elite Trainer Box is the brand new set from Pokemon, which is celebrating the amazing game of Pokemon Go. Yeah, you know, it's, it's the game you, you know, your friends go around with their mobile phones looking like loonies getting lost and walking out in front of cars. It's that game, everybody, if you don't know what it is. Now, these Elite Trainer Boxes are the pinnacle of any new set and I would recommend going for one of these first. And you'd be like, why Charcard? card? Why would you go for one of these first? Because A, boop, there's the price. The price is a very steady price. It's the holiday set everyone, so it's a little bit more expensive than the other ones. But you're gonna find out why it's that little bit more expensive. And trust me, it's definitely worth it. Keep the secret. Now we're gonna tug straight into this in a second, but we're just gonna look through what comes in the box. And as you can see, it's your normal standard thing, but the one extra little secret, you get two extra packs, and you get this with the fe little fella here, the Full Art Mewtwo V, which is a stunning looking card. Now I'm gonna tuck straight into this, and I'm gonna say, if you're new to the channel, welcome to Char Card. We open up Pokemon stuff all the time and have a little bit of fun. And if you're a long-term subscriber, thank you so much, and I really appreciate you joining us again today. Now this feels a little bit different to your normal Pokemon boxes. As you can see, we get the lovely artwork in here again. Let's, let's split this open. There we go. Look at the amazing artwork. It's very hard to show off on the camera. Uh, can I show it off on the side? There we go, the side camera. There you go. I have it there for a reason. It's absolutely gorgeous, some of this artwork on it, and I'm so happy that Pokemon have gone ahead and done a Pokemon Go set. Because originally, they did bring this out, um, but I saw fake cards originally. I don't know if you all saw it, it all surfaced out uh, well, quite a few months ago. And um, I just saw Pokemon Go fake cards, and they had the most funniest things. Oh, look, different feeling. It felt really funny. So in here, there's gonna be something a little bit secret here, folks, and I'm gonna share it with you lot. Here is some code, co well, these are codes for your Pokemon Go account. Go wild, my friends. These must be redeemed by July 2023, but I'm gathering what it is. Let us know in the comments what these actually do. I don't know what these are. I mean, it could give you a hat, it could give you a shiny Pokemon. Let us know in the comments and give us a thumbs up because I shared these codes with you. Also, my son opened up his one, but he's not too interested in using it. There's some more code cards there, so be very, very thankful for us sharing all these codes. And let, let's, let us know what they are because I don't know what they are. So this book is, feels a bit different. They haven't done a glossy cover on it. It's like a simple coated paper. It looks, it feels very nice. It says, welcome to the Pokemon TCG Pokemon Go Elite Trainer Box. And it's showcasing all the new cards that are featured in this deck. And there are some lovely, lovely, lovely looking cards in this set. Yes, very nice looking cards. One of my favorite Pokemon, Pokemon Go. It's on my team. Also, there is a, uh-oh moment. If you get a Bidoof with a little ditto on there, you peel the sticker and it reveals a ditto underneath, which I think is a very classy move. I don't know if actually if that's actually legal in a, in a tournament style, but let us know if you can use it in competitive play, because that'd be amazing. So there's some new, new combos, which this is very, very good if you're trying to get a competitive deck going on then. So as you can see, there's all your information there. And now we get into the cards. Now these cards are absolutely fantastic. And I mean, I'm. Everyone's going to go for the Charizard, aren't they? Everyone's going to want to get that one. But there's some lovely Mewtwo V stars here. There's the card I am after everyone. That's the one I'm going to celebrate. As soon as I pull the Articuno, that's it. I am over and done with. So there's some of the other cards you can get. The Dragonite V stars, another good one. I like the slack in as well. It did make me laugh when I saw King Kong there. Then here's all the secrets. So there is 78 cards plus 10 secret rares, which I think that's a much better number than all the previous secret rares. And it literally starts from the rainbow lineup and there's a few go uh, gold cards. No secret alternative VMAX um, you know, artworks, but to be honest, there are the Mewtwo and the uh, Concordant V. But there we go. So that is the booklet there. Enough talking, let's get into this box. So as you can see, it's lovely artwork on the box. I love the Chrome Mew on there. This is not the Pokemon uh, Center exclusive. This is the standard uh, Center standard version. We have a pair of binoculars to keep the kids quiet during the summer holidays. What else do we have? We have 10 packs of Pokemon Go packs, which these feel quite weighty actually. I thought they'd be like the thin flimsy ones. We get a V-Star marker as well. 
God, we get so much in there. Thank you, Pokemon, for all this stuff you get in there. Some conditioning mo markers, some lovely looking dice. There you go. And it does say go on the dice, which I think that's my favorite dice so far. It's a little bit of fun, so I like that. We get some amazing looking sleeves. So there's the good old uh, Mewtwo sleeves, which is like a chrome effect again. And yes, these sleeves are the uh, opaque look, so it's not the shiny ones, which I do prefer, to be honest. But you get those. That's why this is so good value, everybody, and it's worth getting these holiday sets. Here is the card that everyone really wants. It's the fantastic looking Mewtwo V card. As you can see, the center is a bit pants again. Uh, oh god, yeah, that is completely OC, isn't it? Off-centered completely, but look how cool and powerful he looks. That's, that's worth getting. Do you know what? Let's open this up. I wasn't using Paris's on this, but the way it's been miscut is terrible. Let's get straight into that one. There we go, have a look at it. There we go. Let's leave him McSleever this one up, because we want to keep this. Oh dear, I can't get into these sleeves. Do you know what? I'm just, just throwing them. There we go. If I made a mess here, well, I do apologize. So there we go. So there's our first official poll. We are very happy with that. What else do we get in here? Right, uh, we get uh, a wad of energies, just in case you didn't have enough energies, but you got some more of those. And some lovely card dividers, which I love these. And as you can see, it's like the, like a complete, like a universal Mewtwo at the back. Really good design. I'm loving the blue and silver. I will keep one of these seal because it's celebrating Pokemon Go, and I think it's a, a very cool looking well, set. And there's the co-card out there. Hope one of you enjoys that. And, and hopefully you might get the uh, Mewtwo V as well, which would be very good. So let's get some more of these stands in because we might need a few. So what we're going to do, we're going to open up these booster packs. And then I'm going to show you what my son pulled on his Elite Trainer box. Because he got some fire, I tell you. That's a bit of a hint, isn't there? So in these cards, they are all black and white co-cards so they will because they're a holiday set when the holiday sets come out they're always black and white so we're going to always do the four to the front four to the back just as a little secret go here we go so here we go so a chance to go a spark we get a, a spider that you don't want to step on a melton a charmander an apom a bulbasaur a bidoof or a bidoof a reverse lavatar and a moltres hollow which is very nice to see absolutely gorgeous and it has been cut with a butter knife so there you go, so one hollow. So I think everyone comes with a hollow, I believe. Don't get me wrong. Now, I would like to let you guys leave in the comments. Have you pre-ordered your Pokemon Go? Are you looking forward to opening up? Go on, tell us in the comments how excited you really are about this, because I am looking so forward to actually open this up, and I'm looking forward to open up some of the other products soon, especially the Radiant Eevee. Oh my word, I'm looking forward to that. Pikachu, Squirtle, a Reverse Sylveon, and we've got the Lolan Executor V. Look how big his neck is all on that. The full art is absolutely amazing. Oh, that's great. I'm happy with that. I've got two full arts in this box, technically, then. Very good to see. I'm, I'm loving the Sylveon artwork. That's actually really nice, that. That's cool artwork. Oh, do you know what? I'm excited about this set. This set's going to be one of those sets you don't need to buy too much of, folks. Don't over, over buy this set. But just buy enough. Um, just to, you know, just to open up a few things and then, um, oh, I would recommend keeping a few items sealed because it's, it's one of these, it probably will become a collector's item probably in about 10 years time. But do you know what, you'll probably listen to this video in 10 years time, but, <laughs> ah, Charakar was wrong. There's a Bidoof, but it hasn't got the Ditto mark on there, so that is not the Ditto card. A Reverse War Turtle and a Snorlax hanging a snooze on a st step or a stoop, whatever you want to call it. But that's really cool as well, I'm loving that artwork. This set is all about fun. And that's why I think this set's gonna do so well with the community. And some of those cards are just absolutely gorgeous. So I will probably personally get a few cards sent off to grading as well. Uh, just because I enjoy grading cards and seeing how the uh, grades come out. Doesn't always work out for me. <laughs> Look at the slow poke, taking a little dip in the sea. That's good to see an APOM. There we go, it's the first Radiant Blast Toys and a Tyranitar. Got like a Do you know what? That is some fire on that card. Look at the hollow. That is gorgeous, but looking at our Radiant Blast Toys, I'm very, very happy with that. I am a good Blast Toys fan. I've always been a Water Deck fan. So there we go. I'm very, very happy. We're not doing too bad, are we, today? So. There we go. So we've got two proper nice pulls from that box already and some good hollows. And we've still got several to go. Wish me luck, everybody, because I have to beat my son. Like I said, I, later on in the video, I'm going to show you what my son pulled. 
because he pulls some very good cards and he always beats me. He always does. He always gets he always gets a choice of which one do you open up? This one or this one? He opened up the first one. And it was an absolute belter. A Bibarel, very nice. A spin arc. A Pidoof. A reverse. Amber, and there he goes, our first V card is a Mel Metal V. And he dropped him because he's so heavy, but look at the shininess on that little fella. Wow, uh, it's not too bad either on the center, a little bit, yes, it's, you know, it's a nine for center. But the rest of it is really cool, so I'm very happy there. Let's put another little slit, see there. there we go. Well, this set has been very good already. Three decent pulls there. I'm very happy, let's see what we can get here. Another code card. Here we go, four to the front, four to the back. Ah, uh, Metal Energy, S Slow Boat account to the sea, that's lovely. And we got Lunaturn, uh, Eevee, Nunnell, Raticate for those pouches, a Bulbasaur, a Rough Candela, Reverse Candela, and a Hollow Lapras, which looks like he's in like Italy or something, or uh, yeah, it looks like Venice. Very good. Some lovely artwork. What they're trying to do with the Pokemon is trying to showcase some of the Pokemon in some of the landmarks. I mean, that's amazing. That's like that's definitely Italy there. La Venice. Where is this Italy, isn't it? Um, I'm loving the Mewtwo in the uh, Times Square in New York. That looks really amazing as well. So I'm looking forward to try and pull one of those. Very good card, the Pokey Stop. I wish that was a gold secret rare because that would be a bit of fun. Charmander, Apom, a Reverse Blissey, and a Tyranitar on fire again. Wow. I think that's one of my favorite um, hollows so far. That and an Articuno, if I could actually get an Articuno. Please, if I don't get an Articuno, someone just send me one in, please. I really want an Articuno. <laughs> so there we go. So forward to the front, forward to the back. Like I said, we've got to do this because it's the holiday set and having a bit of fun. We got Water Energy. Water to enjoy the sun a bit there. Magic. Look at all the Magic Carps in um, I don't know, Central Park, it looks like. That's really good. Mel Melton, uh, Eevee, a Pikachu, Squirtle, a Reverse Alone and Raticate for those chops up. And there we go. A Conqueror V again. So that's really good to see. A Conqueror. <laughs> I just love saying that. I, just, I don't know. It's probably the wrong way of saying it. It's probably got a proper name saying it. But there he goes. He's got two Vs now. So very happy with this box. Two more cards, uh, booster packs left. And I'm going to say thank you very much to everyone who actually survived the end of this video and here in the absolute excitement. I will. Oh, look, there's a V Star card there. So they are in this set as well. So if you do get one of those, you're not being fobbed off. It's just an amazing looking card they're going to put in there to make you feel happy. So you get a Spark, a Pikachu, a Squirtle, a Melton, a Big Doof. Hasn't got the Ditto mark. It seems like they're going to be hard to get. A Magic Up. A Reverse Charizard. Wow, indeed. And there is a Dragonite V full art. Double, double whammy. Oh, my word. This box is on fire. Oh, my. Do you know what? Everyone says box. This box is on water. There we go. This box is smelted down on water. Very good. So, very happy there. So, we've got another full art. So, we've got three full arts. An amazing looking reverse. I'm so happy. It's keep by my voice. I'm just happy with this. Last pack magic. So before I show this off, I will show you what my son pulled. Here we go. Ready? Get you let us know in the comments who had the best box. My son or me. So here we go. Slack in. Executor V. A reverse. Oh sorry. Full full art oh, metal metal V. A golden egg incubator, a radiant Charizard, and that's it. Who do you think had the best box? Yeah, come on, come on. It, it, it's, it's me, isn't it? It's, it's going to be me this time. Last lot. Let's see what this is. Thank you very much for joining us today. I really appreciate your time, and I will see you in the next video, which will feature some more Pokemon Go, and it'll be some fun. And I'm hoping this will give you some absolute fire on the last one. No, it's not a ditto. Oh, it's a shame. A Padoof, a Reverse Bibarel, and an Articuno. There we go. The last card that I wanted. I'm happy. I'm done. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a great day.